All right, guys, welcome back to Finger Lakes Outdoorsman. Today's a little different video. We're gonna take you along on how to tie some jigs. Okay, so far we got uh, a couple of bobbins here full of uh, different colors for the jigs. Nice little tool that I made for the um, applicator for the head cement. Just kind of dip that in there, and then we'll dip it on the fly. I'll show you one over there. Scissors. Whip finishing tool, another whip finishing tool, threader, and um, hackle pliers. Okay, here we go. So far, we're going to start out with uh, we've got an assortment of jig heads here. These are the kind of the ones that I like to use. They are one sixteenth size. Okay, put that in the voice. Sure it's nice and secure. So we're gonna build. Um, I don't know. We'll start with the red one. Actually, we'll start with black. Okay. So I'm gonna start it off by going around all the way to the uh, hook shank, all the way down the hook shank to the point. Keep going, and then take it behind that line wrap it back and then wrap it all the way back up through once you got that you kind of let that hang there take your scissors cut off the tail end take the um, take the nice little tool I made here pretty interesting dip that in the uh, stuff and um, apply it onto the hook Okay, so now we got that. We're going to um, make our tail. So we're going to use this synthetic buck hair fibers and kind of pinch off like, I don't know, it depends on the hook size. So we'll pinch off just a little. Just so, kind of get it even, just so it looks good. Because the tail is probably the most one of the most important parts, and that isn't going to work. So I'm gonna have to get some more. We'll go with the the pink fox bucktail because we haven't used any of that yet. It'll give us a nice clean cut. Okay, pull that out. You can tell like the fibers are a little different. Gonna take a nice pinch of it. here snip it okay so you got a little bit and then you can kind of thin it out as you, you feel kind of pull from the back it kind of gives it a little better look put it up here start to wrap it around okay just wrap until you get to the end and then uh, Show you what to do from there. Wrap. Okay. There's that, and kind of check it to see if it's in the middle of the hook. Okay. And you can go back up. Then I like to see if I can nip off some of this excess up here. wrap it all the way to the top. Kind of makes the chenille fit a little better. Okay, so once we got that, I'm gonna put it back up here. Take a little bit of our uh, fly z -ment. This stuff's like super glow, so. Kind of give it one of those little numbers and then it'll secure it in. Okay. So we're, for this jig, we're going to use a, uh, we'll go with a, a pink body to go with the tail. So, pink chenille, small, size small, nice little cut. Okay, so now, kind of put that up on this, kind of get the zip up to a little bit of access. Now you can start to tie that in. 
kind of skipping on me so off the wheel okay so now that's it like that just wrap it back and then we'll actually use a little of the uh, fly cement with our tool here just wet that down a little, a little bit so it sticks a little better Okay, the tool's working great. Okay, now we come to wrapping. Make sure your uh, your threads all the way to the front by the ball of the jig head, and then start wrapping. You want to make it nice and tight so it doesn't come apart. Keep on wrapping, and then once you get to the head, I kind of do a nice little twist here and then kind of lock it into place. One, two, behind the chenille, and then one, two, three, four in front. And then we'll give it a snip right at the end. Okay. And then we'll do probably six passes with just the, uh, just so it locks in. And I kind of trim off what I can see access okay so now we're gonna take our whip finish tool this is the hardest part to learn put the hook down around the hill they call it but just like that if you guys can see that kind of make the triangle Triangle on the, we're gonna go there, twist it like seven times. Seven or eight, okay? See if you can go up, click it out, and then cut it, cut the excess. And then for the final step, is you're going to put a little more on this applicator here. Put a little cement on the thread. A little more there. Okay, and just done. We have a nice pile going, so uh, yeah, we gotta do all those jig heads and some more. So we'll definitely be busy. And we got a bunch of different colors to make, so this is just uh, one way to make them. Hope you like it and enjoyed so uh yeah stay tuned for the next video